Hey, warm well, welcome to this video. Now we're going to be thinking about scabies today. Now, working in Asia and Africa, I'm afraid we come across an awful lot of people with scabies infection, small insects that burrow into the top layer of the skin. There's about 300 million cases of this reported every year, huge amounts. And of course, the real figures are probably way more than that. Tiny little scabies mites, about, about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a centimetre, like, like 2, 3, 4 millimetres long, very, very small. Now, they're transmitted normally directly through skin-to-skin -skin contact, but also through fomites. So you often find outbreaks in families and in houses, as we will see in this video. And other, other risk factors are children crowded conditions you often get them when people have been disrupted like like in in refugee situations or after disasters but the good thing about scabies is although it's incredibly itchy and quite debilitating children can't sleep and they're itchy um, we can treat it really quite readily we can use topical scabicides we can boil and uh, disinfect the clothes normally just boiling in in hot soapy water and we've also found this preparation here to be remarkably effective can you see that? Yes, you can. Uh, ivermectin tablets are remarkably good at getting rid of scabies. So you can give these, you can give them for a day or two. And then usually it's, it's helpful to give another course, another day or two after seven to 10 days, just to kill all the different mites in the different parts of their life cycle. Now, here we see one of these critters here. This is where a scabies mite. As we said, this is probably about... Um, three millimeters long something like that and uh that's a scanning electron micrograph of one and you can see that really it's not the sort of thing you want burrowing into your skin if you can avoid it incredibly unpleasant and itchy and as, as well as that um because the burrows are there in the scratching they can often be um secondary infection as well uh, staphylococcal infection sometimes streptococcal infection and some streptococci can cause um Gamelian nephritis, severe disease of the kidneys as well. Not good to have uh, ongoing bacterial infection if you can avoid it. Secondary bacterial infection, secondary to these uh, to these scabies mites. Um, there's a couple uh, nipping out of uh, skin. These are skin cells here. You can see the mites in the top of their burrows. And what you often get is uh, so the mites gone in here. And it's been very itchy. That's why the person scratched and there's a bit of scabbing there. And then you can see it's gone along this little burrow here. So the kind of burrowed into the skinners and it's, it's that it's there just now. And they make these burrows and they, uh, they, they lay their eggs. So if you've got these tracks, that, that, that's what you call pathognomonic. It can't be anything else. And, and we can treat it really readily. But so many times this is untreated for long periods of time and the kids are scratching and they don't sleep. And it's the same with so many of these chronic diseases. You get chronic diseases, especially in children. Uh, basically, the children become stunted with it. I mean, children grow, of course, when, when they're sleeping. And then when they become adults, they haven't reached the full genetic potential, so they can't work physically to the full. They can't work mentally to the full. They might not reach the full intellect. And, uh, and of course, that passes on into poverty and on to the next generation. So what we do in Buanga Way to Health is we try and treat the disease, improve the conditions and stop that vicious downward spiral. That's what we try and do. Now, I was uh, I visited with uh It's actually just over a year ago now. Plan to go out soon again. Um, worked with him on the ground. Everything works there really well. Uh, our resources are limited, but with the resources we do have, we do tremendous uh, work. So it's a project that we support on my channel and interact with, with Rafa's channel. So that's a bit about scabies. Let's look at the video that Rafa recorded now. Uh, last time we visited this home and we identified some challenges. One, we saw that uh, there was uh, a problem of scabies. Two, we saw that the hygiene was a problem and the, we were also able to identify that the, some of the clothes that they were using were not clean enough. So today we came with the, some solutions. One, uh, we have come with ivermectin tablets. Ivermectin is very safe 
and effective in the treatment of scabies. I have used it before and it is very safe and it worked well. So we are going to do that. Uh, we are also going to wash the clothes and we are also giving some new clothes as we are going to be able to wash all the old ones and we shall be able also to iron them. Uh, we have also brought uh, the mattresses that they are going to sleep on. So great thanks to all our followers wherever uh, you are watching from. Thank you very much for your continued support. Love you all. See you in the next video. Bye. I'm going out into the world Taking hope to the hopeless and I need it God will guide me unto the end If you don't mind, please come and go with me I'm going out into the world Taking hope to the hopeless and I need it. God will guide me unto the end. If you don't mind, please come and go with me. They're in the darkness where I go. If overwhelm me, whatever I see has filled me sorrow, eyes full of tears. Please God, use me 